All right, folks, it is time once again for another latchkey food review. And today, <laughs> I am going after Arby's. Arby's has a few new menu items out that I am interested in. So which one are we going after today? Hmm. I don't know. It's a tough decision. I think I will go after that brisket, that bacon brisket uh, sandwich that they got out there. Bacon brisket, I think it's a <laughs> bacon brisket cheddar sandwich. Bacon beef brisket cheddar sandwich. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of hard to. <laughs> they should call it. Bacon and cheddar beef brisket sandwich. Bacon and cheddar beef brisket sandwich sounds good to me. In that particular order, I ain't sure. We'll know when we get up to the sand. <laughs> uh, but they got a few new sandwiches out and that is just one of them. And we're gonna give that one a good old tree out. Coming up next. All right, so here we are. And they got their two for seven cheddar thon. At least that's what that sign says over there. I don't know what that means. My son wants a uh, regular beef and cheddar sandwich, so it's going to cost me a little bit. Oh, a fish and cheddar. Hmm, there it is. Brisket, bacon, Beef and cheddar. 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 All right. Hello, thank you for choosing Arby's. Would you like to try the new amazing big cheese bacon burger meal today? You can order when you're ready. Yeah, let me get uh, one of your uh, brisket, bacon, beef and cheddar sandwiches. You said they're brisket, bacon, beef yeah. and cheddar sandwiches? Yeah, one of those and a regular uh, beef and cheddar sandwich as well. Alright. And you said a regular, you said a regular yeah. beef and cheddar? Yeah, a regular beef and cheddar as well. Alright, anything else for you? That'd be all. Any desserts for you today? Uh, no thank you. Alright, please pull around for your total. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. So it's $7.99 for just that <laughs> brisket sandwich. Alright, I'm going to settle up with them. We'll talk about it when we get to the review that will be coming right up after this. So I got it. And uh, let's see what it's all about. It's a hefty feeling sandwich. And uh, I got me some water right here to drink with it. Didn't feel like the combo today. All right, so it comes on the uh, onion bread, just like their regular classic beef and cheddar does. It's something they already have available to them on the regular basis anyway. And uh, it looks like it's got some regular roast beef on there. That is their that is their uh, authentic regular roast beef there. And the uh, reddish in color there is their brisket. There we go. So you kind of getting a little bit of both things there. It's not pure brisket and uh, this side will show you how the same cheddar cheese sauce that they use for their uh, beef and cheddar sandwich <laughs> is also on here
And I'm not sure what they did to get the smoke flavor on that brisket, but it is there. It is there. You can taste it heavily on there. And just to show you, they give you a lot of brisket on there. There's a lot of it on there. And it is thicker than their regular roast beef. That's the brisket. And uh, <laughs> just to show you, there is some bacon on there, but it makes absolutely no difference on this flavor. Because that brisket and that smoky flavor they got in there, however they got it in there, look at there. I can tell you right now, it ain't authentic wood smoke <laughs> brisket, that's for sure. That is the one thing I know for certain. It is good. But you gotta remember this sandwich is weighing in at eight dollars. Just by itself. Four or five years ago, I'd have been paying that price. <laughs> Maybe even less years than that, I'd have been paying that price for an entire combo. Some gotta give. <laughs> so, a sacrifice was made for the sake of me being able to try something new. The way I look at it is I've had their curly fries a hundred thousand times. I really don't need them that bad. <laughs> and I can get me a water. Oh, it is good, folks. As I'm getting down this far in the sandwich, you can look and see I've got way more roast beef packed in there than I do brisket at the very bottom there. Where they put it in on itself, you know, to stack it high. Kind of like Jersey Mike's, if you think about it.
they do that trick with their meats. If you ever sit and watch them build your sandwich, they'll make sure they're piling to make it make it higher than what it is. sit here and reflect on it a second we'll talk about it in the afterthoughts coming right up all right folks so my final afterthoughts on the uh brisket bacon beef and cheddar sandwich at arby's is uh okay it's a two thumbs up it's probably better if you know you, you make your own drink situation you know and uh, just try the sandwich on this one. You know, if you want to save on some of the cost. Uh, because, like I say, you know, depending on your t the taxes in your town, too. That's uh, a factor that plays into the price as well. Because uh, there are some things I pay cheaper for in different towns. We'll have to get into some of that next year. Uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, you want to keep it for $10 and under. <laughs> You want to, uh, you know, uh, just get the sandwich, and uh, it's a lot of sandwich. You know, I've paid up there for sandwiches that had less material on them. <laughs> oh wow, that loud muffler! What is it, my friend uh, Dave always says? For the love of Pete! <laughs> for the love of Pete! Get a muffler! <laughs> Shout out to Dave. Jules Food Reviews. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I like the sandwich. I mean, you get plenty of uh, different options on there, you know. And, and I, I see why they call it what they call it, you know. Because you get a little bit of brisket on there. Uh, it's not the uh, slow roasted traditional brisket that I am used to getting here in the South. Uh, we got barbecue trucks everywhere. And brisket that we get is... Uh, definitely way better than that but for what it is it's not bad for arby's uh, uh brisket type of food <laughs> uh you can't expect that kind of quality you know from a fast food place like arby's come on but it is good and i did enjoy it along with the bacon that's on there uh the brisket the taste of the brisket is overpowering everything else on the sandwich at least while it lasts, and then toward the end, I was getting a lot of the uh, classic roast beef that are that you come to expect from Arby's in their sandwich. Uh, I enjoyed it. I give it a two thumbs up. Uh, go try one for yourself. If you like it, let me know. And that is all I have for this review. So until the next one, you folks have a good one.